So right now I'm troubleshooting my Ankyo. That's really old. I think it's uh, going on 11 years old. It's HT-R180. Believe this is when, this is like the sister to the 807. I can't remember the exact uh, model name, but the uh, speaker matrix doesn't go on and I've seen, it seems to be like a common issue. So I'm gonna try to fix it using the method that I've seen like posted. And it seems to be the issue is like this was, this could be the problem. So I'm gonna try to heat it up with some flux and resolder the the connections underneath it. So let's see if that works. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some flux around the chip. I'm gonna assume that this is the problem. I don't know, there's another DTS chip here. From all the things I've seen, it's this one, but since I have not really nothing to lose, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna to try to reflow this one. Hopefully that works and go from there. So I never used flux before, so I'm gonna see. I don't know how much. I guess you just put it around the perimeter of the chip. I don't know how much is appropriate. So this stuff is supposed to be no clean or so let's hope that that is enough. So I'm going to be taking temperature readings. Right now it's 67 degrees. I got like 390, 300 and... So I'm gonna give it a few more seconds here. I'm seeing some smoking too. All right, I'm gonna let that relax for a second. If that, um, if that doesn't do it, I'll try again. I'll go a little, I'll try to go a little hotter. So here goes nothing. I just did the, the heat gun treatment with the solder and I'm gonna turn it on. See what, see if the little speakers light up. <laughs> there you go, how do you know? It worked, that, that was the problem. I'll be damned. Tuner. I don't hear any sound though. You know, it's another chip. And why he was so excited. There's sound. How I describe how I compare it. If many of the vehicles that wow. we've about before, many of us think about Okay. Uh, okay, so I just did it again. You probably can't see it, but I did it until, or what I read, the solder needs to smoke a little bit. I don't think you can see it. So I just ran it, I kind of did the same process again, just to get a really good um, like connection. Hopefully I didn't mess it up, but I just wanted to make sure that it was like a permanent, more of a permanent fix than something temporary. So I'm letting it cool down again. And hopefully to prevent this from happening again, I just added this little like Raspberry Pi heatsink to the chip. 
to make sure it doesn't overheat again and mess up with the solder. So I hope this helps out and anybody and to see that this, I mean, from what I've seen, this is like always the issue. I mean, sometimes it's in capacitors and stuff, but that would, that would be way beyond my skill set. But, you know, heating up a chip, adding a little bit of flux is something that I could probably, many, many people could probably do. So it's not worth throwing out or, you know, selling your receiver for scrap for this issue or paying, you know, a repairman, you know, hundreds of dollars to just come back and just do this for like, took me like five minutes to do this or less. So, so I hope this helps you out and let me know if uh, you have any questions.